Welcome back to a new video. I get asked a lot if I could do a fan art of character XYZ and most of the time I refuse to draw fan arts and then I get asked why I don't do fan arts in general. There are different reasons why I don't do fan arts so often. It's not like I never do fan arts but it's like nothing compared to my other works. So one aspect of this video is about my personal view and the other one is about the legality of fan arts. My intention is not to make a witch hunt on people who do fan arts. I just want to share some important information with you because I think it's necessary to know these kind of things, especially if you are an aspiring artist. I also want to mention that I'm not a lawyer, but I did a lot of researches especially for today's video. And I guess I should just start with the legality of fan arts. First of all, doing fan arts for private users and showing friends and family is not illegal. Doing fan arts and selling them as merchandise, prints or as an original without license or permission is illegal. Promoting yourself with fan arts is illegal as well. Doing a raffle with a fan art as the first prize where everybody can buy something like a lottery ticket for a chance to win is illegal because you are gaining money through that. Even posting fan arts on your webpage or social media site is forbidden by law. Because by posting or promoting yourself with fan arts, you profit from the popularity of the original works. But you don't need to get worried now to get sued by the companies for posting fan arts on your Instagram, because this is just part of the law. But most companies are tolerant with that, mostly because of the effort they would need to take to sue every single fan art artist. But posting and selling are different things. Selling fan arts is not automatically illegal if you have a permission or a license. The thing is, most of the artists just don't ask for permission. They don't even try it and that's sad. Sometimes you just need to do some research. For example, you can clearly read on Nintendo's webpage that they don't give any permission for using any kind of Nintendo stuff in form of producing merchandise of these fan arts. And it's the same with Riot Games League of Legends. They all like fan arts, but they don't want to see you selling them. And it doesn't even matter if you don't earn that much money with it, or if you just sell a small set of prints. And I think this sentence of Nintendo is what you should keep in mind. Nintendo respects the intellectual property of others. And we ask users of Nintendo products and services to do the same. I have another example for you. Not only about the permission itself, but the manner of not doing research and seeing it as normal selling fan arts without permission. Do you know Toby Fox? He is the creator of one of the most popular games of the recent time, Undertale. Undertale became so popular and so many people started to create fan arts and some of those people started even to sell these in form of merchandise, prints and so on. And guess what? He did not even agree with it and he kindly told several times that he don't want you to sell these fan arts in any kind. But because nobody cared and nobody does his research, what I think is the very least you should do before even thinking about selling fan arts, and because there were just too many of those fan art selling people and fans started even to fight against each other, and because of all that, he changed the policy of fan merch for his game. And that's pretty sad. A creator who gets stoned by his own fans. So as an artist and creator myself, I don't want my works to get stolen as well. And by stealing, I really mean using my figures, my works, my intellectual property for selling without any permission. I would be hurt seeing fans of so rude and heartless and having no respect of my works. All I'm asking for, if you want to sell fan arts, please do your research first and ask the creators, companies, etc. for permission. We should respect the works of other people and you are always on the safe side with a permission in case of getting punished by law. Based on the examples of Nintendo, 
Riot Games and Guild Wars, it seems like it's no help asking because there's always a big no from companies, but I think you should respect that. But the chance of getting a permission from smaller artists or indie creators is pretty high. And I think you just need to try it. Of course, it's free advertisement for them and they do love seeing fan arts and fans who enjoy their works, but I don't see why you need to sell it. When you sell it, you want to make money out of it and how can you say you love their works if you are going to sell it? If you really love it, why selling it? Why not supporting the original artist and not even asking for permission first? Love is strange, huh? So now after talking about the legality, I'm talking about my personal decision not to make fan arts or at least to avoid doing them. First of all, I don't feel the need to do it. My dream as an artist was always to get professional with my own stories, own characters and ideas. I don't want to get only known by doing tons of fan arts and I think it's just too easy to get attention pretty fast through making fan arts and I want to make it without doing fan arts, especially on YouTube. I see artists who made tons of fan arts and they're getting a lot of followers through that, but if these artists are doing their own characters, a lot of people are just not interested in seeing that because the artist has built his fan base on fandoms and people came just for seeing more fan arts and not the own works of this artist. And this is just a doom loop. There are even fans who start complaining if the artist has stopped drawing for a specific fandom. I really need to like a certain series a lot to feel the need of showing my love through making a fan art. Or I just do it because it's a gift for someone. And if so, I would only upload these on Instagram, Facebook, but not on YouTube. My videos are monetized, I'm gaining money through my videos on YouTube even if it's just a small amount. I would feel like selling it since I get money with it. But this is just my personal opinion, my personal decision about not doing fan arts on YouTube. Like I said before, I want to be known for my own stuff and if you will ever see me doing a fan art on YouTube, then you can be sure that I get permission for it and that I really like to draw this fan art. I'd rather like to draw people's OCs and make them happy with it than drawing famous characters I don't even know. And this is also something why I don't do fan arts. I barely watch anime and I mostly don't like to watch new or popular series. But I'm a huge fan of the Dragon Age, Resident Evil and Silent Hill games. I always love seeing great fan arts of these games. Fan arts are awesome and they can show how much the person loves a certain fandom and it makes fans like you and me super happy. Copyright is not a bad thing. It protects artists like you and me from people who wants to steal our intellectual properties. It's a big topic to talk about and what I explained is just a small scratch on the surface. But if you like to know some more, make sure to check out the description box down below. I've put some more links there with more information about this whole copyright thing. It's a pretty important and interesting thing to talk about and if you have any question, feel free to write it down in the comment section below and let's see if I find some answers for you. Take care of yourself and like always, stay creative and bye bye!